So what are the steps that we take when it comes to maintenance? First thing, if you, you get to realize your digester is getting full, usually happens when you flash the flash unit or the WC, you realize that there's a bubbles and then it settles. It takes time before you can settle into the digester tank. Then there are some occasions you might also see the water outside around the tank showing and that is overflowing. In that case, it means that maintenance has to be done. Either the soak away or the soak hole pit is not working well or some materials that cannot biodegrade have gone to block the pores or the pipes or have clogged the way in which the water must go into the soak away for the digester bed to work well. The key part for most homeowners that they need to know is that when you are using a bio digester, there shouldn't be a water or there shouldn't be any water in the digester bed because it works well when it's dry and the microorganisms work well when there's no water in the digester. There must be a rapid separation of the solid waste from the water. The solid waste stays in the digester, microorganisms work on it, the water goes through the leche pipe into the soak away or the soak hole pit or into a gutter or whatever system that you are using for the water treatment. If they are not going to work well, then you have to do maintenance. It means that the digester bed will have to be changed, new ones will have to be fitted. What happens with the, this technology was that it was corroding because of the water, the acidic nature of the water from the flash unit was corroding the wire mesh and the nets. And then the periodic, the time range or the timelines in which maintenance has to be done will, have be, will be shorter, right? But likely with the new improved biodigesters, which have got the poorer system and then the filtration is way, way, way better you don't have that problem unless it's really the lifestyle of the family who are living in the house.